attending our weekly classes. Every Sunday, we have the class with Sheikh Shahid on the 40 hadith of Imam Nawawi that will begin at 10.45 a.m., followed immediately by the tafsir class by Dr. Siddiqui at 12 noon. And uh, the tafsir will be of Surah Baqarah. And uh, the links for the classes are on the newsletter. For It will be on uh, Zoom, Facebook Live, and YouTube. So you can join on any one of those. Uh, this evening, uh, the youth group will be having a uh, discussion led by Sheikh Shahid Ali at 7 p.m. Uh, so please uh, make sure to come out if you're part of the youth and uh, let other people know. And this will actually be an in-person event. It will be taking place in the back uh, parking lot with uh, appropriate social distancing and uh, mask required. And then also this evening, from uh, 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., in partnership with CARE, ISOC, and other local masajid, we'll be holding a candidate forum. So you can come and hear about the uh, candidates running in Orange County um, and uh, learn about the issues. And the details, uh, again, are in the newsletter. And uh, of course, ISOC does not endorse any candidate, but we do remind you to get educated about the issues and the candidates and use your vote wisely. Um, and finally, uh, as we continue on with this pandemic, we remind you to uh, exercise appropriate caution uh, with the social distancing and the face mask. Make sure that the uh, mask remains on, covering the, both the nose and the mouth the entire time during the prayer, during the khutbah, and uh, avoid things like shaking hands. And we want to, you know, it's a big blessing to be here outside, uh, outside the masjid still, but we're still here praying Juma. So we want to uh, continue to try to keep everyone safe. Jazakallah uh, khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الحمد لله 
الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنام سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه الكرام بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده وصلاة الله والسلام عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه وأهل بيته أجمعين أما بعد فإن أستقى الحديث كتاب الله وإن خير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وإن شر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار All praise is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the master of the world the Lord and the cherisher and the sustainer of the worlds and peace and blessings upon his prophets and messengers all the prophets and messengers of Allah, especially the last and final prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa alayhi wa Peace and blessing of Allah be upon them, all upon him, upon his family, upon his followers. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his last and final prophet and messenger. There was a famous uh, uh, scholar and writer. Um, he died about 20 years ago uh, from Syria. His uh, name is Ali Tantawi. Uh, he was a Qadi, judge, as well as the Alim, and then also a teacher. And then beside that, of course, he was a great literary writer. He wrote many short stories and published many books. Um, he mentions in one of these small notes, uh, but uh, very inspiring small note, and uh, you can call it today a Twitter, a tweet. <laughs> so it was a, like a tweet uh, in which he, he mentions uh, something about his experience. So he says that um, uh, one day I was I was thinking, does Allah love me? Hal yuhibbuni Allah? I asked myself this question, does Allah love me? And then this question kept on coming into my mind. So uh, I thought that uh, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is because of certain characters, certain qualities that a person must have. So I started uh, looking at what the qualities and characters uh, are mentioned in the Quran. And in my mind, I just reflecting on that. So I found that uh, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah yuhibbul muttaqeen. Allah loves muttaqeen. Those are the people of taqwa. Those who are very conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, very mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, avoid the wrong thing. So he said, uh, I couldn't dare to call myself a muttaqi. I did not feel that I'm, I can call myself a muttaqi. And then I thought, Allah says, in Allah you have sabirin. Allah loves those who are patient. And then I reflected upon myself and I said, I do not have much sabr. I am very, uh, it's difficult for me to be, to be really patient. My patience is very short. Uh, so. Then I saw that uh, Allah SWT says, in Allah yuhibbul muhsineen. Allah loves those who do ihsan, good deeds. And I found that myself, that uh, how far I am from that. I really don't call myself muhsin. So this is a believer really, thinking about himself very critically, thinking about himself and very humble. Of course, he was a very pious person, but actually, the, even the more pious people are, the more they realize their mistakes, the more they realize their shortcomings. So he said, I was thinking about all of that, and then I, uh, I thought that Allah would not love me, really, because I don't have all these characters. And then I started checking my deeds, my actions, my behavior, and I found that they are mixed up. Some good things, some bad things, all of these things. Then something came to my mind, and I was thinking about this ayah, 
Inna Allah yuhibbu tawwabin. Allah loves those who make tawbah. I said, this is for me. <laughs> I like to make tawbah. I love to make tawbah. Inna Allah yuhibbu tawwabin. So I started, he said, immediately I said, Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayhi. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayhi. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayhi. I seek Allah's forgiveness. I make tawbah towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is really for all of us. All of us, we have to think about that. If we do more tawbah, we become more beloved to Allah. Tawbah literally means turning towards Allah. Taaba yatubu, taaba ila, that a human being is turning towards Allah. And it is very interesting word that you say, you turn towards Allah, so then Allah will turn towards you. So that's why the same word is used in the Quran for Allah. And you make tawbah towards Allah, taaba ila Allah, fa yatubu Allahu alayhim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned towards them. We turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, admitting our mistakes, our shortcomings, our sins, our wrongdoings. And Allah turns towards us with His mercy, with His kindness, with His blessing, with His forgiveness. So tawbah is very important because sin, shortcomings, they make a distance between you and Allah. They create a distance. Some people feel it, some people don't feel it. But actually it is. When we do, uh, do negligence, when we turn away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is the distance going on, grow and grow and then become too much. So it is very important that to bridge this gap, you make tawbah and turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves tawbah. Allah loves tawabin and Allah loves tawbah. Hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, you remember that Hadith of the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, it said, Allah is more happy with the tawbah of a person than a person goes traveling in the desert where there is no water, there is no food, nothing, in a very uh, desolate place. And he goes on his camel loaded with water, with food and everything, and he's traveling. And then he gets down off his camel, takes some rest, and in that rest, when he was taking a rest, he goes to sleep. And you wake up and you find there's no camel. The camel is gone. And he looked here and there, ran on this side, that side, all right, looking, searching for the camel, he could not find. So he said, let me go back to where I was. And uh, was sitting, very sad, very disappointed. And he again go to sleep. <laughs> That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this sleep to a human being. Uh, it's a mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said, I went again to sleep. And, and then he woke up and he found a camel was there next to him. Standing there. And he was very happy, very happy. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more happy than that person. Huh? That person is, was happy. Was a situation of happiness. That person coming back. So a servant coming back to Allah. A human being coming back to Allah and makes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very happy. And Allah loves that person. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not look at him because of his, for his sin, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks for him because of his tawbah. Sin makes the distance, but the tawbah bring, becomes a person closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why it is mentioned that uh, ila mughfiratim min rabbikum. Uh, rush towards the forgiveness of your Lord and towards the Jannah, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is for whom? الَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفَسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهِ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُوا الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَلَمْ يُسِرُّوا وَلَا مَا فَعَلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ Those when they make any sh sh sin, any shameful deed, they do wrong to themselves, they remember Allah and ask forgiveness. Ask forgiveness for their sins, and who forgives the sins except Allah? وَمَنْ يَغْفُرُ الظُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَلَمْ يُسِرُّ وَلَا مَا فَعَلُوا And they do not keep on insisting on, what, on their sins knowingly. So when they realize, when they know that this is sin, they turn away from that. They stop it. Don't do it. وَلَمْ يُسِرُّ وَلَا مَا فَعَلُوا They don't insist on doing that knowingly. So those people who do this, they are the one who are making sincere tawbah 
and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept their tawbah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives them. Allah says, Qul ya abadi alladhina asrafu ala anfuzihim la taqnatu min rahmatillah inna allaha yaghfiru zunuba jami'a Say to you, to my servants, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, say to my servants, those who have done wrong to themselves, those who have transgressed against their souls, do not despair the mercy of Allah. Allah forgives all sins. Inna Allah yaghfiru zunuba jami'a inna huwa al-ghafoorur raheem he is most forgiving, he is most merciful. Or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, tubu ila Allah tawbatan nasuha. Or you who believe, turn towards Allah in a sincere repentance. Now sincere repentance is very important. Not just saying tawbah, tawbah, and say tawbah, astaghfirullah, and then keep on doing right, wrong things. No. The tawbah must be sincere, turning away from wrong. That's why, if your tawbah is sincere, at-ta'ibu min al-zambi kaman la zambala. The hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, mentioned by Ibn Majah, rahmahullah, he said that those who turn from the sin as if they have not committed sin, the sin is forgiven. So at-ta'ibu min al-zambi kaman la zambala. It's like a person who never did any sin. So that means that the, the page on which the, the sin is written, it will be brought out. It will be removed from that. So, ta'ibu min azzam become an azzam or on the day of judgment, there will be no questioning about that because there was tawbah. So, tawbah, my brothers and sisters, it's important and it is remember, remember that there are two types of sins. One is our sins, our wrongdoings, our shortcomings in our relation to Allah. Because we have certain duties towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, such as our prayers, such as our fasting, such as our zakat and hajj and all of these things. So these are our ibadat. This is our relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the negligence in that is known as violation of the, of the, the rights of Allah. Hukuq Allah. And the second thing is the violations of our duty towards each other. Your family members, your spouse, your children, your parents, your brothers and sisters, your neighbors, your co-workers, all of these things. So you have duties towards each other. And negligence of those duties, doing wrong to others, violation of this, this is called the sin in relation to others. Hukuq al adamiyin Hukuq al-Ibad. The Hukuq of the Ibad our duty is towards other people, if you violate that, this is also a sin. So in order to uh, repent from the sin that committed in relation to Allah, there are three things that you have to do. If you have done anything wrong, if you have done anything wrong, in our relation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to do three things. But if we have done anything wrong towards each other, other human beings, then we are supposed to do four things. So, you know, when a, a violation, a sin in relation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala requires that one should repent from that sin. The second thing, ask Allah's forgiveness. And the third thing is, make a pledge, I'm not going to do that again. Stop that and then pledge, I'll not do that again. Three things. And the fourth thing that you have to do, but if you do something wrong to other people, is also disobedience to Allah. Allah doesn't want you to do anything wrong to anybody else. So if you do wrong to anybody else, including your spouse, your children, your parents, your, your relatives, your neighbors, your co-workers, your employers and employees, if you do anything wrong in relation to anybody else, again you have to do all the three things. Repent, ask Allah's forgiveness, I pray that I'm not going to do that again. And the fourth thing is, apologize to that person. Ap apologize to that person. If you have taken away the rights of that person, pay them back to that person. So make, make up from the mistakes, from the wrong thing that you did to that person. And in this way, you will receive the forgiveness from that person as well as forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is uh, very important, building good relations with others. Tawbah, Tawbah 
makes a person closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, makes a person humble, and Tawbah also makes a person righteous person. Even the, the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even though they were without any sins, without any mistakes, but even they, they used to do Tawbah. They used to make a stay because that brings being closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Rasulullah said, say, Tubu ila Allah fa inni atubu ila Allah fil yawmi mayata marra. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was the most perfect human being, most sinless person, he said, make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because I do that every day a hundred times. He used to repeat this word, astaghfirullah wa atubu alayhi, astaghfirullah wa atubu alayhi. Because tawbah bring a person closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayah that we make tawbah and correct ourselves and become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah forgive you and forgive me and forgive all of us. Wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Was salatu was salam ala Sayyidil Mursaleen, Nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin. So two points just to remind, first of all, already mentioned, uh, that is, uh, uh, unfortunately, COVID situation is still serious. Uh, yesterday's report is it has increased and it is increasing in many places. So we have to be careful. We have to watch ourselves, take all the precautions that are necessary. Uh, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove this uh, problem, this pandemic from us, from the humanity. So continue making your prayers, continue taking your precautions, and be careful. Alhamdulillah here, we are observing that, even though it has some inconvenience, the weather is changing, but inshallah, we'll try to continue doing it in the right way and may Allah SWT keep us protected. Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah SWT that uh, no major incident happened here in this area. Alhamdulillah, we pray to Allah SWT to keep us that way. And also, the uh, election is near and uh, uh, it is important. Those of you who are citizens, uh, exercise your right. Uh, you have to vote, vote conscientiously in the right way, use your vote in the right way. And if you are not going to use your vote, don't think that your vote, uh, um, somebody is going to use your vote. Somebody, somebody's other, some other person's vote is going to be counted and yours is as if, as if you've been silent. So by default, this is also your vote. So you exercise your vote. Uh, and it is easy now. Ballots can be given, sent by email, by, by mail, or by email, by mail, or you can deposit them, uh, or you can go uh, personally and vote that, but it is important to do that. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the right people will come, those who are good for the country, good for the, for the humanity, good for, the, for, for us, for everybody, and uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us protected, inshallah. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وعلى من تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين خصوصا على الخلفاء الأربعة أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعلى سائر الصحابة والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وعنا معهم بفضلك وكرمك Ya Akram al Akramin wa Ya Arham al Rahimin. Please make dua for the health of Harun Subara Manian and Sister Jacqueline Garcia, Sister Tasneem Mahmoud, Brother Suleiman Ahmad, Dr. Abu Nasr, and Brother Ghazali Imam. Pray for Allah that Allah SWT give them shifa and all the other people who they did not mention but they are suffering. May Allah give them shifa, Allahumma shifa anta shafi, la shafiya illa anta shifa an la yuqadir suqma. Also make dua maghfira for sister Quraysha Khatun, Allahumma gfir laha wa rahamha wa afiha wa afu anha, Allahumma akrim nuzulaha, 
اللهم ادخلها الجنة اللهم ادخلها الجنة عباد الله إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا على النار إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله أكبر فاقم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استوم